Greetings. I am delighted and proud to join you in the celebration of Black History Month, a time when we come together as one to bear witness to the richness and diversity of African-American achievements and leadership. It is also a time for reaffirmation of our commitment to the struggle and to our determination to change attitudes and to heighten understanding of the African-American experience in our wonderful state of South Carolina and our wonderful country of America. It is also a time for us to pause and to offer our heartfelt thanks to those leaders, laymen and laywomen who fought bravely and who overcame so many obstacles so that they might realize their dreams in order to try to clear a path of honor and dignity for the rest of us to follow in realizing our own dreams and the dreams of this country. We cannot ever forget your theme for this year. Still standing is encouraging and motivating for a time where once again our country is so highly divided and broken. This theme holds true for our leaders back then and certainly now. Still standing is probably the essence of the African-American experience. And when I read your theme, it immediately encourages me as an African-American man and now also as a family man. But most importantly, it encourages me in my capacity as a South Carolina representative. You see, still standing, or as you will possibly hear me say, still we stand, says three things to me. One, we remain confident and strong even when faced with the most difficult challenges. Two, we will remain undefeated when we feel defeated in times of doing the right things as it relates to social injustices. And finally, we will remain hopeful in spite of. We entered last year, 2020, possibly expecting the usual, but getting way more than we could ever imagine. We were thrust into this pandemic where to date our nation has reached a grim milestone. Over 400,000 Americans have died from complications from the virus. Black Americans are 3.7 times as likely as whites to be hospitalized with COVID-19 and 2.8 times as likely to die from it. The virus has affected our community in real ways. And according to the CDC, social determinants of health place many people of color at heightened risk for poor COVID-19 outcomes, including disparities in healthcare coverage and access, disproportionate representation in essential jobs that offer carry greater risk, crowded housing conditions, and disparities in income, education, and wealth. Currently, South Carolina's death toll number is over 6,000. COVID-19 has challenged us as well as every system that is in place. We have been challenged physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. We have had to change how we do things, how we learn, and how we interact. And even with this horrific challenge, still we stand and remain very hopeful that this too shall pass. And in our standing, let us make sure we continue to do our part. So let's continue to wear our masks, practice social distancing, get tested, and yes, sign up to get the vaccine. Now, as the virus was spreading, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and others died at the hands of the police. The African-American community felt depressed, defeated, exhausted, and downspirited by seeing and reading the news. This fueled Black Lives Matter protests in an effort to try to get our country to understand we need help with addressing the killings of our young brothers and sisters. Our babies are losing their lives in senseless situations. And this protest expressed views about law enforcement recognizing a need for accountability, reform, and policy changes, including bans on such practices as chokeholds, and as a result, deep concerns about systemic racism, especially as it relates to the criminal justice system and mass incarceration, were also being voiced. My colleagues and I are fighting daily to bring awareness as well as address the injustices in the laws. We introduced House Bill 3427, the hate crimes bill that deals with a person committing a crime on the basis of a person's characteristics of race, religion, ethnicity, nationality, gender, sexual orientation, and gender identity. South Carolina is one of three states left that do not have a hate crimes law. Your theme this year reminds us that every dark night there follows the daylight. Still we stand even when we feel heartbroken, wounded, and overpowered. We must remain undefeated in our spirits, in our hearts, and in our works. One of my favorite quotes by the late Reverend Dr. King says, true peace is not merely the absence of tension. 
It is the presence of justice. And then we experience one of the most serious, contentious elections in American history. African Americans, in particular black women, became conscious of the voting power. We were able to see the efforts of years of fighting for voting rights. The 2020 voter turnout was the highest in over a century. No right is more precious than that of having a voice in the election of those who make the laws under which we live. It reminds me of what an influential minister said in the 1800s when he said, democracy is based upon the conviction that there are extraordinary possibilities in ordinary people. In celebrating this Black History Month, let us remember that in just the past year alone, we have witnessed the very lows of the many deaths as a result of the pandemic, as well as the never forget visual of the police officer on George Floyd's neck, to the highs of electing our first African-American Asian woman vice president of these United States and Kamala Harris. Still I stand, still we stand, because we witness Amanda Gorman, a 22-year-old American poet and activist, recite her poem for the presidential inauguration. Amanda Gorman was the first person to be named National Youth Poet Laureate, but not just Amanda, so many, many others who are making their way as well as paving the way. When Black History Month was first observed, African Americans were given not so much as a footnote in American history books. Thankfully, this is no longer the case. America is a great country, and one of the reasons it is great is because of the contributions of African Americans to music, literature, dance, art, science, sports, and politics. Still standing means we must keep our hands to the plow, hold on, and remain hopeful in spite of. Hope for a future that is filled with endless possibilities and endless opportunity. Thank you and happy Black History Month.